Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS provides revised answers. That's a tongue twister right there, people. Give that one a shot. IRS provides revised answers. Move on over, Peter Piper, with your pickled pepper picking. We have a new tongue-tying titan. In any case, IRS provides revised answers for 2020 recovery rebate credit on tracing payments. IR 2022-24, February 2nd, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today updated its frequently asked questions, the FAQs on 2020 recovery rebate credit, FS 2022-08. There's a link to that here. This updated FAQ frequently asked question includes a revision to the information on tracing payments under topic F, finding the first and second economic impact payments amounts to calculate the 2020 recovery rebate credit. Question 8, Topic F, Update. These FAQs are being issued to provide general information to taxpayers and tax professionals as expeditiously as possible. More information about Reliance is available. There's a link to that here. More information on the recovery rebate credit is available on irs.gov. There's a link to that here as well. IRS FAQs. So I'm just going to link on over here and see what they say with that FAQ. Uh, This is uh, F8, missing economic impact payment. How do I request a payment trace to track my first and second economic impact payments updated February 2nd, 2022? So remember, with with the economic impact payments, you got basically three of them that we are looking into. The first two were tied to the 2020 tax return, and therefore, if there were any problems with them, you would need to remedy that typically with the recovery rebate credit at this point in time by filing the 2020 tax return. And then the third one, is going to be tied to the 2021 tax year. If there were any problems with it, then the remedy would generally be to file the 2021 tax return, filing for the uh, recovery rebate credit for the third payment. Of course, in order to do that, you need to verify what kind of stimulus payments were actually uh, received. So you might need to get that information if you don't know what that information is from the IRS to make sure that you're reporting uh, the items properly. Uh, as you go forward. So here we go. Uh, A8, you should only request a payment trace to track your payment if your online account shows a first or second payment was issued to you and you have not received it. So in other words, you can generally look on your account, for example, to see if the economic impact payments have gone out. You can basically log in to the IRS portal and try to track the payments that went out. But obviously the payments that went out on the IRS's side are tracking the payments that they believe that they sent out. Now, at some point in time, if the payment didn't actually get to you, if they sent like a paper check or something like that, and the recipient didn't receive it, then they should be able to to figure that out at some point in time. But it's possible that they sent the payment, but it, it was never received. Or there could be fraud that took place and basically the payment went to somebody other than the participant who it should have gone to. Now, in that event, then, of course, there's kind of a problem because if you record that you didn't receive the payment on the tax return, it's not going to it's not going to match what the IRS is saying because they're going to say we sent the the payment in the tax return. And so obviously there's going to be have to be some way to work out those kind of issues as they come up. So it says do not request. So once again, it says here. You should only request a payment to trace to track your payment if your online account shows a first and second payment was issued to you and you have not received it. So if they say if you're looking and they say you you shouldn't be requesting the track, in other words, generally just to see if the payment went out because you can basically look that up on your portal. You basically want to look at it if they say that they sent it out and you're saying you didn't receive it then you might the next step is to say well okay what happened to it where did it go what account did it go to how did you send it what address did it go to that's when it looks like to me you would be using this kind of trace thing do not request a payment trace to determine if you were eligible for a payment or to confirm the amount of payment you should have received how we process uh, your claim will process your claim for a missing payment in one of two ways Uh, If a trace is initiated and the IRS determines that the check wasn't cashed, your IRS will credit your account for that payment. So obviously, if the payment went out on the IRS side and you're saying, yeah, I didn't get it, and and they look at it and they say, oh, the the check is outstanding. We sent a check. Maybe it went to the wrong place or it got lost in the mail. And they can tell that because it hasn't been cashed. 
then that's one kind of scenario you would think would be remediable. Uh, but the IRS cannot reissue your payment. Instead, you will need to claim the 2020 recovery rebate credits on your 2021, uh, 2020 tax return if eligible. So in that event, they're gonna, they might say in their, on their side, they're gonna say, okay, we sent out the stimulus payment, but it didn't get cash. So apparently you didn't get it because it never actually left our account on the bank, uh, on the IRS side of things. We're not gonna reissue it, but we will recognize that it didn't go out. So when you file the tax return for 2020, you wanna you want to then calculate or claim the recovery rebate credit. And that would be the way to, to remedy that. That's my interpretation of their FAQ here. Note, if you are filing a 2020 tax return before your trace is complete, do not include the payment amount on line 16 or 19 of the recovery rebate credit worksheet. If you do, you may receive a notice saying your 2020 recovery rebate credit was changed, but an adjustment will be made after the trace is complete and it is determined your payment has not been cashed. You will not need to take any additional action to receive the credit. If you do not request a trace or your, uh, on your payment, you may receive an error when claiming the 2020 recovery rebate credit on your 2020 tax return. So in that event, if you if you're basically look up in your account and it's the IRS says that they sent you the money and, and you on your side are saying, well, no, I didn't receive the money, then you properly record the, the, the recovery rebate credit on the, on the tax return it's gonna cause a, a problem on the IRS side, which could take some time to remedy, especially in the current situation, because there's gonna be possibly a person that has to kind of get involved there because the machine, the system is gonna say, yeah, the thing that they claimed is not tying out to what we thought we paid them, and therefore they're gonna have to dig into it a little bit uh, deeper. So in that event, if that was the case, that's when you might want to initiate the trace, which possibly could make things go uh, you know, a little bit faster as, as they as they kind of determine the situation. So since the payment was issued to you, you may not be eligible for any credit. If the check was cashed, the Treasury Department's Bureau of the Fiscal Service, there's a link to that here, will send you a claim package that includes a copy of the cash check. So obviously, if you if you basically say, hey, look, uh, the thing, I, you didn't send me the check, I never got the check, and they're saying, I know I sent the check, and not only do I know I sent the check, I see that it was cashed. So now it looks like it was cashed and it might not have been cashed by you then. The next step would be, well, was it you that cashed the check? If it wasn't you that cashed the check, then we still have a problem. But it, obviously if you did cash the check, then you got the check and you know it ends at that point. The next step would be, well, the IRS looks on their side, the check isn't outstanding, the check was cashed. The question now is, is it a case of fraud? Someone else basically cashed the check or uh, did you cash the check and get in, the, in the event in that event then you would have received the payment so follow the instructions the treasury department's bureau of fiscal service will review your claim and the signature on the cancel check before determining whether the payment can be reversed uh, and your recovery rebate credit adjustment start a payment trace so to start the payment trace you can call uh, us at 800-919-9835 there'll be a link to this in, in the description so you can get to this faq if, if it's applicable to you mail or fax a completed form 3911 taxpayer statement regarding refund. There's a link to that here. To complete the form 3911, write quote uh, EIP1, end quote, or EIP2 on the top of the form to identify the payment you want to trace. Complete the form answering all refund questions as they relate to your economic impact payment. When completing line seven under section one, check the box for quote individual, end quote, as the type of return entered quote 2020 end quote as the tax period do not write anything for the date filed sign the form if you file married filing joint both spouses must sign the form you will generally receive a response six weeks after we've received your request for a payment trace but there may be delays due to limited staffing uh, get up to date status on affected IRS operations and services. There's a link to that here. Do not mail form 3911 if you have already requested a trace by phone. You'll confuse the IRS if you if you ask them multiple times for the same thing generally. If you mail or fax the form prior to the time frames above, your request will not be processed until those time frames are met. Mail or fax the form to note do not send any anything other than a form 3911 to the fax numbers below. So they got this information that's related uh, directly to 
these forms and there'll be a link to this in the description so they've got the locations and then where you're going to mail it to so you got your table here and your contact information if this would be applicable to you under this faq